scene here. So we have a two meter tall man. He's walking away from a four meter high street light at three meters per second. So I'm just going to draw that in. Here's my street light. There's my two meter tall man. And the street light casts a shadow. And that shadow length we'll call S. And we want to know how the fast the shadow is changing when he's 10 meters away from the light. So right now he's 10 meters. And we've been given that the, he walks away from the street light at 3 meters per second. So this distance we'll call x. And we'll say that this must then be dx by dt. So what we want to then find out based on this scenario is what is, so that's 4 and 2, what is ds by dt? So how is this shadow changing based on this information? So the, we need to first of all come up with a relationship that's going to relate the variables in question here. So we have x, we have s, we need to connect those two variables. And for these problems, we use a similar triangle relationship. So the big triangle that involves S is uh, X and S is as similar to the small triangle that involves just S. So we'll write it this way. 4 to the, the vertical to the horizontal side is equal to vertical to the horizontal side of both triangles. I'm just going to cross multiply this. So I end up with 4S is equal to 2x plus 2s. I end up with 2s equals x. And that means that as the distance changes here, the shadow changes. Sorry, the, the distance here is going to always match the distance here, which makes sense because this guy is always half the height of this. So how do then we how do we do this as a related rate problem? So first thing is we've got the variables in question, we've related them, we simplified the expression. The second thing is to differentiate this implicitly. Well, to differentiate the left side with respect to time, I get ds by dt. Differentiating the right side, I get dx by dt. Well, if these two distances are always the same, these lengths x and s are always the same, then the rate of change of both of those distances must also match, which they do. So if dx by dt is 3 meters per second, well, ds by, by d, ds by dt must also be 3 meters per second. So there's my solution. Now what ends up happening is, depending on the ratio of the, the height of this, this lamppost and the height of the man, that ratio will determine the ratio of these two lengths. In this case, it happens to be a one-to-one -one ratio, but we could have different ratios, and that would affect the rate. And you, that will show itself up in this equation, how we relate the S to X.